Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing great. I'm fine. I already created a video about Perplexity AI before. If you haven't, you can go and watch that. But in this video also, I will show you in the high level what is Perplexity AI. The reason I'm creating this video again is that this is quite a powerful website because you can customize your search. Here you can see there is this icon here and you can choose any of those and it is already customized search. And one good part why I create this video again is because there is a thing called Copilot powered by GPT-4 and we have five different tries within four hours. This is actually really cool. I will show you how this works in this video. Let's get started. Before going to the Copilot thing, I will just navigate you through the website first. Once you go to this perplexity.ai website, you can use it without logging in into this website meaning that if you just want to go here and ask some random questions that's fine but if you want to have your conversation being saved so that you can come back and ask more things into it then you need to log in into the system i have already logged in on the left side as you can see there is just new thread or popular it will show the popular things here you can refresh this icon it will provide different things and here is your threads, meaning that if you are logged in, then it will be pop up here. And then down here, there are normal things. And on the main screen, you can see here, ask anything. And you can choose or customize your shots. Meaning that here, if I say Reddit and if I ask something, if it will go to Reddit and provide me the answer. And if I say news and if I ask something, it will provide me the news. Similarly, you get the idea. If you want to watch some YouTube videos and if you go here in the YouTube and ask something, it will provide the YouTube related content. What next, right? The, I'm not going to show all the different things, but one thing what I find it interesting is let, let me go to my one of my previous conversation. OK, I, I was going here, plan trip to Helsinki and that was the co-pilot. I will show you one new example again, but you can actually customize different things with the co-pilot. And before going through that, what I want to show you is on the top right corner, there is a thing called share where you can share your conversation in different links. As you can see here in Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook, and you can even copy the link and send that to someone else. That is fine, right? And the next thing what I find it interesting is once you have the conversation, in the conversation, it provides different links. As you can see here, it is providing different links and the links are also provided here. And I find that more than 90% of the links actually work. And here you can flag if it is not accurate. And this thing I, and you can click this view sources, right? If you click this one and the new window pops up with all the sources and you can even remove this. Let's say that you don't want this particular source, then you can just remove this. And there is undo. That is how it works, right? And you can do down here. And the next thing what I find it really interesting is you can just copy to clipboard. This is a really good feature. Although you can share this conversation or this chat with others, you can already copy this because it's helpful because let's say that sometime you are writing some blog or you are doing with some coding task or something and you want to copy the code quickly into your your IDE or somewhere you write the blog, right? You can just quickly copy this and it's copied in the clipboard. You can go to the next place and then just paste it there. Right? And then there is a thing called edit query, meaning that you can edit the query that you asked earlier. And as always with other chatbots also, you can ask the follow up questions, meaning that it will save the conversation history that you have asked before and it will continue from there. This is how the UI looks like. Now let's go and see how the co-pilot plays into action in the Perplexity AI website, right? For that, what you need to do is just drag this co-pilot icon here. Now the co-pilot is activated and you can ask as many questions as you want or your specific questions, right? There are some of the examples being provided here, but let's uh, write a story, analyze, or help me buy headphones or something like that. Let's go just go with the simple example here. Help me buy headphones, right? Now it is understanding your question and it takes some time and it will ask you some more additional questions, right? It says, what type of headphones are you looking for? You can just say over ear or on ear or in ear headphones. Let's go with the over ear headphones. And what is your budget, right? I can just say maybe 400 euro is the budget. 
maximum, right? And anything else to add? You can add all the different features of the headphones you want or something like that. But for me, for this demonstration, I'm not adding anything there. I just say continue. Now it is going to continue based on that particular input, right? Based over your headphones under 400 and over here, it went and find eight different results. And then it is providing me or giving me some suggestions that, okay, you can go with the Sony WH-1000XM4 or all the different things as you can see here. And when it is providing that particular suggestions, it is also providing the resources or sources. And if you click the sources, it will take you to the sources page. So that is how it works. So it works, right? The sources points to the right sources page. And if you want to check the price, then it will lead to the Amazon website. That is how it works. And similarly, there are other different sources also being provided from where this information was being dragged. And for that particular headphone being suggested, it takes the source from three and four, meaning that from this three and from this four. And you can go even and ask what are the best noise cancellation headphones under $400. If you click this and the GoFiloT is going to take the action again, understanding your question, maybe it will ask some additional questions again. It asks, okay, what, which features are most important to you? As you can see here, sound quality, comfort, battery life, brand. I can just say, okay, all of these, because all of these are important, right? And anything else to add, I can say brand only from Sony, just a random thing. And if I say continue, let's see that if it understands and just provide me the Sony headphones. That's really good that we don't even need to go to the different website and sort all the things, right? Now you can see it went through the different things, considering eight results and reading your response, sound quality, all the different things we provided. And it is search, searching on the web course. And again, it went through the different resources it found based on your preferences. Let me go here. The best noise cancellation headphones under $400 are the Sony this one. Overall, the Sony WH-1000XM4 wireless headphones are a good choice or great choice for anyone looking for high quality noise cancelling headphones under $400. So yeah, and if I want to buy, you, I, I, I can just click the links and go to the website and buy the headphones. Or I can even go more like, okay, what are the best noise cancelling headphones or earbuds under $200 and something like that. You get the idea. Just imagine this like how convenient is it to sort? As I said in my earlier video also about perplexity, this is kind of the combination between the Google search plus large language model or the Google search plus the chat GPT for easier understanding. Both of them are combined together. You might argue that, okay, I can get the similar things from chat GPT-4. Yes, you can get it probably because I haven't used it, but that cost you some money and this is, is free. And also chat GPT-4, if you want to use also, you cannot use because you must be on a waiting list. I don't know now it is being removed or not, but still for me, I haven't get the access to chat GPT-4. If you want to pay and go with chat GPT-4, there are many plugins that's up to you. You can, you, you have the choice, but I find that being free and allowing us to use chat GPT-4 compatible things because that is running on GPT-4. We can run this also on GPT-4 and the sort is customizable. I find this more useful compared to chat GPT. It's my personal opinion. It's you to decide. Yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.